everyone. My name is Fung Lam. I'm the Director of Artistic Planning of the Hong Kong Philharmonic Orchestra. Today uh, we have two guests with us. Uh, one is uh, Philip Ju, who is the conductor of our final symphony concert. And here we have Thomas Berker, who is the producer and creator of the entire um, Final Fantasy Symphony symphonic project with us. So um, we would like to talk to them both today and see uh, what kind of more insightful information and uh, the really interesting experience that they can share with us. Together with my arrangers, Jon Nevalton and, and Roger Vanamo, we came up with the idea that we should do it more in a, let's say, classical way, mm. to, to take original melodies and to develop them like uh, symphonic works, mm. Uh, by Richard Strauss, for example, yeah. to have a symphonic poem which is telling the story of, um, of a video game, in this case. Because we wanted to connect a young audience mm. to the orchestras again, and we thought that if we're taking themes or uh, topics, subjects, mm. which are interesting for a young audience, then they would come back to the, to the concert hall. And um, thanks to my contacts with uh, composers mm. and video game publishers, um, we could uh, get the permission from Square Enix to do exactly that with uh, Final Fantasy music. So this is basically how it started. And uh, Final Symphony was presented for the first time in 2013. <laughs> different to a sort of like a really sort of classic video games concert right yeah. so you know in those concerts you're actually going to have a big screen playing footages you know and then all the special lighting right but now this concert is um, very different like you say you know in those concerts the pieces are much shorter right yeah. so they have actually one theme one theme like this but now they actually as, as Thomas said they use some sort of more popular themes right from the games and then actually develop it mm. okay into something that they might actually have not heard in the actual game itself, yeah, right. So this is more, 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 more interesting, and I think it's also a, a challenge for the players because mm -hmm. first of all, not all of them are gamers, yeah. right. So and you don't normally in a sort of symphony have so many themes. The gamers, like you said, they they will know the as soon as they hear the tune, they know yeah. exactly what the visual behind yeah. that, that because they're so experienced with it. And so for for us, you know, what I'm trying to do is actually bring a different. Um, uh, well, concept to to these gamers who might be actually listening to um, this kind of structure yeah. of the the music from the games for the first time. So, uh, so I think that is actually um, uh, the biggest challenge for myself and actually for the um, uh, the orchestra as well. like the fact that these arrangements uh, work very well with the orchestra and make a really fantastic use of the orchestration and that's why I'm really hoping that it would attract the audience to come into the concert hall and experience the orchestra like in person. Because, I mean nowadays a lot of people are used to listening to music through headphones and computers but I really hope that uh, you know, through this really wonderful project that we can attract uh, some audiences who may not usually uh, come to an orchestral concert or maybe even audiences who have not been into the concert hall to listen to an orchestra to experience the orchestra for the first time. Mm -hmm. 